the fall armyworm is an invasive pest affecting crops across Ghana. Farmers are being hit very hard as maize and other plants are being attacked by these hungry caterpillars. I know that my first time I made it. I made it bro. I made it for the first time I made it. I made it for the first time I made it for the first time I made it. I made it for the first time I made it. I made it for the first time I made it. I made it for the first time I made it. I made it for the first time I made it. I made it for the first time I made it. I made it for the first time I made it. Eu não me vou hum, então me joguei para a gripe ha, é para boa gripe farm, mas então me não muito coé, é coé não ampa, o moço hum é, então me diz ah, só uma vez nesse o mabano. Em café não tinha nada sei, me deu claro me deu sunga, é mas o moço topou, me diz mas me dá fogo por some days, a sana maba, tinha nada tinha nada bem pa, a fio é, se a mamã me adro, na mamã me faz um cogu me aburo no sol da, a fio é de me nhaxe. Uh, the fall armyworm has been a challenge for the nation and for the Brown Afro region for that matter uh, this year. Actually, the index case was recorded last year, but this year has been a bit severe. That is not to say that it's a hopeless uh, situation. Uh, the early farmers are able to identify and report this. The early we are able to respond and then the better the situation uh, when it comes to you know salvaging these folks. This is a shared responsibility. The farmers have a role to play. Uh, the extension agents have a role to play. The policy makers or the government also has a role to play. There are steps we can take to protect our farms from fall armyworms and reduce the crop losses. Let's learn what we can do to prevent, monitor, and control the fall army worm on our farms. The best way of avoiding fall army worm is to prevent the caterpillars from infesting your farm in the first place. Here are some tips to prevent them from showing up. Plant your maize at the onset of the rains, all at the same time. Avoid planting your crops late. Intercrop your maize with crops like cassava or yam, which aren't attacked by the fall armyworm. Regularly weed the field and its surroundings. Ensure that your farm is well fertilized with the right fertilizer for your crop, so that your crops grow well. Close monitoring of your farm is also essential so that you know if your farm is free of the worms or not. Start looking out for the presence of the worms a week after germination, when the leaves begin to show through the soil. Look for cream or grey egg masses on both sides of the leaves. They are usually covered with a felt-like layer of grey or pink scales. Check for light green to dark brown larvae with three thin yellowish-white stripes down the back and four dots which are in a square on the second to last segment from the tail. In older caterpillars, a distinct white inverted Y is visible on the head. Check inside the inner growing leaves for the caterpillars, covered with some yellowish brown material. Look for small light colored patches on the leaves, as well as large, ragged and elongated holes in the leaves emerging from the inner growing leaves. Maize can recover from early leaf damage. However, if more than 20 plants out of 100 have damaged walls and you can see caterpillars, take control measures. If your farm is already infested with a fall army worm, there are still some actions you can take to regain control of your farm. As a first measure, you should try and handpick and destroy the egg masses and the larvae. If your farm is larger or the infestation is severe, there are a number of recommended biopesticides and pesticides for managing fall army worm which you can use. Commonly used products are biopesticide BT products like Ago 
or bipel, which should be applied at least three times during the season at three-week intervals. Products with the ingredient maltodextrin, which should be used at 50 milliliters per 15 liter knapsack sprayer. There are other options you can also use. Use different chemicals each time you spray to reduce the risk of the fall army worm becoming resistant to the chemicals. Please contact your agricultural extension officer for advice on the best type of pesticide for spraying your farm. When spraying chemicals for the fall army worm, direct the nozzle into the funnel leaves or wall. If you're spraying with biopesticides, then ensure that you spray in the evening after 4 p.m. If you are using pesticides, you can spray early in the morning before 8.30 a.m. or in the evening after 4 p.m. Continue monitoring your crops regularly after spraying to check the pest hasn't returned. Always make sure you wear proper safety clothing while spraying because chemical pesticides can be toxic and need to be handled carefully. Please contact your agricultural extension officer for advice on spraying fall army worm on your farm. The fall army worm is a bothersome pest, but you can beat it. Just remember to practice the steps discussed here to prevent. Monitor. And control the fall army worm. Happy farming.